how on earth is this going to be feature show appropriate? And then I asked him to explain because, you know, me being me, I'm general, genuinely curious and I need to know what it's about. And then he got to explain and I was like, okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, <laughs> so you guys are for sure going to learn a good lesson from Mr. Fox today. And then we are waiting for it's just Bree, but let's let Jay do his thing here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jay. Um, if any of you guys don't know who Jay is, Jay is my admin. Sorry, I thought you were stuck. So I just exited you because usually right after that you are gone. So I, I don't know. Um, but anyways, so you guys are tuning into Lessons Learned. I am Silly Lily, and we're going to have Mr. Fox up here in a couple of minutes. Um, but as you guys seen, um, that was a little Q&Q. &Q. We do a comment or a quote, I'm sorry, followed by a question. And how that goes, is I'm going to show you this card after I read it, and I want all of you in the comments to answer the question. All right. So some of you, if you were here last week, you've had all week to get an answer, okay? So remember that not getting you want, or remember that not getting what you want is sometimes a wonderful stroke of luck. Remember <laughs> that... Okay, I'm laughing because every time that gift goes across my screen, I have to go. <laughs> I'm not allowed to acknowledge them during my show. <laughs> so I can't. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not even looking at you guys. Remember that not getting what you want is sometimes a wonderful stroke of luck. <laughs> what? Stop. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Oh my God. What was something that you thought you wanted, but ultimately didn't? Remember that not getting what you want is sometimes a wonderful stroke of luck. What was something that you thought you wanted, but ultimately you didn't? <laughs> I ultimately did not want these smiley faces. <laughs> you guys, I have to do this show. I'm going to get yelled at. I need you all to answer this question. What was something that you thought you wanted but ultimately didn't? <laughs> I thought I wanted to marry both of my ex fiancés but I am really glad I dodged those bullets. Okay, so that's that's my lesson on thinking I wanted something to realize later on that I was really glad I didn't follow through with that. These faces are killing me right now. <laughs> so what is something that you guys <laughs> wanted, I thought you wanted, but ultimately didn't? <laughs> What was something that you thought you wanted, but ultimately you didn't? Love. Oh, I definitely want love. Casino says, I'm really glad I don't have a wife. <laughs> I definitely want love. I just want love with the right person. 
a different guy, you know, Boopty, more kids. Oh my God. That's another one. I thought about two years ago, I was like, I want another baby so bad. And now I'm sitting here today, like, holy cow. I couldn't imagine trying to chase a toddler. I can barely get out of bed most days. Right. Where is she? A horse. Aw. Yeah. You know, they are super, super expensive. A wedding. There's another marriage. Yeah. See, so a lot of us, <laughs> the laughing gift. A lot of us seem to uh, have fallen into that uh, where we fell in love with Mr. Right or Mr. Wrong. I uh, wanted to be healthy and I didn't want to eat cardboard. Now I think that somebody's being silly. Mr. Fox, I think we're going to laugh a lot with you in the box, aren't we? I ain't here a, a little sassy like I am. <laughs> I can feel it already. I can feel your energy through the screen. <laughs> I can feel the energy through the screen. All right, you guys, if you're just tuning in, this is the Q&Q. &Q. Remember that not getting what you want is sometimes a wonderful stroke of luck. What was something that you thought you wanted, but ultimately you didn't? So if you don't want to answer, I'm sure a lot of you guys in your head are going, oh, this or that, you know. Um, I think another thing is I'm really glad I, I didn't follow my last career path. Um, I'm really glad that I gave myself a chance in doing what I do now, seeing that I've officially got my own business up and running and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that sometimes when you don't get what you want, it's usually because there's something bigger and better waiting. Um, but that's just my personal life experiences. Now, Mr. Fox, I'm going to say about two minutes before I let you in the box. Is that you flashing in there? And before I let you in, I will always, always, always double check just in case you're picking your nose or your wedgies or something super fun. Okay, well then, so Amante Dolce, I don't know you, and we're on a featured show, so I cannot allow anybody in the box that is not a scheduled guest. I apologize. Um, so, Mr. Fox, go ahead and request now so that I can see that light flashing down there. Um, and what I and what I want to do real quick is to remind you guys, first and foremost, is my guests nor myself are professionals. We are simply some folks who've had an experience in life, and it taught us a lesson. Okay, and then and we. At least this is how I look at it. I didn't really discuss it with these two guests, but we are here to share lessons with you in case maybe you are going through something yourself and maybe this might help push you to realize, you know what, you can survive this too because here's a fun fact that I like to remind everybody, okay? I like to remind all of you, look at me. Hey, look at me right now. All of you, look, eyes. Look at, are you looking? Every single one of you, have survived everything in life that has been meant to destroy you. So go ahead and wrap your head around that and remind yourself that you can and you will get through all of this because we have all survived everything that was meant to kill us, every single one of us. So just remember that no matter what you're going through, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and there are people out there that have survived the same situation you've been in. I promise that you're not the only one to have been into a certain situation, okay? I'd also like to remind you guys that I cannot acknowledge you during my show. I cannot chime into the comments as my focus is 100% on my guests in this book that I've got stuff written all over the place in that you see me scrolling through. Um, so if you'd like one-on-one -on -one conversations, please hit that star up top and come back. Make sure you're favoriting my guests. Um, please gift them. Don't, you know, throw some shamrocks at my guests. Rock their socks. Hey, hey, hey. Um, and then in between guests, uh, if our other one uh, makes it, otherwise you're going to be stuck with a, a lesson from Lily. Um, so if you guys have a lesson that you've heard me talk about, it wouldn't um, offend me if you... Uh, we're throwing some reminders up there, so maybe it can help me out um, because I'm drawing blanks. And then, thank you for every single favorite and every single gift because I also cannot acknowledge them um, during my show, or at least I'm not supposed to, but some of you sent a plethora of laughy faces, which make me laugh. So thanks for that. Um, so, Mr. Fox, are you ready? I'm going to let you in the box. 
<laughs> okay. And if you are in my box and you are not a scheduled member of the show or to be on the show today, a scheduled guest, I'm sorry, then I cannot let you in. Hi, Mr. Fox. Thank you for being here. Good morning and thank you for having me. I'm honored. How are you today? Absolutely wonderful. I'm kind of tired because I've been up for seven hours. Oh my goodness. I've been, I'm going, I'm a little over five hours myself. I like the, I like the early mornings. So Mr. Fox, please give us a quick run through of how you had to learn your lesson and what your lesson is. Uh, before I start, I would like to show people some paperwork. So if anybody wants to well, don't put documents up here with your information on it. I don't want you to get in. Any My clues. information is back here. Okay. I've already folded it. So if you want to look up one Blue Jays way, you can see the address. And this is the second one. So my story involves me being banned from the Sky Dome for three lifetimes. If anybody doesn't know what the Sky Dome is, it is the home of the Toronto Blue Jays where... Toronto and Canada's only professional baseball team plays. Roger Center now, that is correct. Yeah. And if at any time you have questions, feel free to interrupt because I so, don't think Bree's here yet. I don't, no, that's right. No, you, you know, we're fine. And I've, I've always got something to help cover too if needed. You know, it's part of how we you won't need it. over here. <laughs> he says, we got this. We got this. Exactly. So now remember being a featured show, we have to try to word certain things a little proper way. So I know that while at the Blue Jays um, game, we consumed a little extra strong sh sugary Kool-Aid, right? Um, we're going to, we'll call adult it. Adult beverages. Oh, adult, adult, there you beverages. Go, adult beverages. Um, and it caused you to maybe, let's say, not be in the right state of mind, correct? Well, I told you that, but here's the surprise. Uh oh. Before I got in, I was not able to drive because I was slightly intoxicated, just a smidge. Okay. So, me being me and being the aggressive person I am, I told security, hey, you guys are going to let me in because I am wrecked. They're like, nope, we're not going to let you in. I was like, bet challenge accepted i walked all the way around to the other side of the dome and i got in <laughs> crisis averted yes <laughs> not with me <laughs> no. because i went to my seats and i had fairly good seats down on the 100 level which is almost the lowest level you can go there's 100 200 and so on right. and so forth so i had my seats fairly good but baseball is boring so by the third inning I decide to go for a walk. So I go for a walk and I happen to, I'm 6'3", 250. I'm a big guy and I'm loud and I'm black. At a baseball game, I stick out like a sore thumb, respectfully. Now, I just happen to go to the bar and on my way back from the bar, I found some guys with a long foam pool noodle. One of those ones that you just used to float on or... Yeah shoot people with or just smack people really hard with. Yeah. <laughs> but there was no pool in sight. The only liquid was adult beverages. Well, they're pouring adult beverages through the noodle and then someone's at the bottom of it catching it into their mouth, respectfully. Now, I didn't consume any from that noodle because I was like, uh-uh, me uh -huh. going like this and like the noodle's bigger than this and... <laughs> No, no, no. I'm no. good, but I will hold it. So, of course, in holding it, you got to support the team. You can do this, Pete. Come on, Kyle, Brandon, yes. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I'm large and loud. Well, security comes around, and it happened to be the same security okay. guy that saw me, and I told him I was not in the right state of mind. He's like, how did you get in here? I'm like, easy, shut the hell up, we're busy. Respectfully. I didn't say the respectfully part. I'm saying it for sure. <laughs> but I gave him a nice shut the hell up. Right. Everyone's like this. <laughs> I'm like, this guy's five foot eight. What's he going to do? And then I just went off because he gave me a little bit of chirping. He's like, sir, we're going to have to remove you. I'm like, you and what army, sir? I'm busy. Give me a sec. And then we just continued and then the cops came. 
So no. what, so what did you learn from this? <laughs> That's just the beginning part. I will get to the oh, meat no. of it. So oh, remember, no. this is the Sky Dome. Not only do they have Blue Jays games there, mm -hmm. they have many events, concerts, monster truck. They had the Raptors back in 95, but this doesn't apply. But that place is rocking almost every day. That security works there every day. So yeah. there's a lot of people that go through. I go back three years later. <laughs> I go to go in with my buddy. And my buddy's like, stands back. I'm like, why is he standing back? I go walk in. Meanwhile, my buddy's telling security, hey, that guy's banned. I walk in. I see the same security guard. He's like, I know you. Well, I'm like, out of all these people, after three years, you still remember me? Your life is in, you tried to be a cop, but you could only be secure. You only oh, have a no. pen and paper. Oh, and no. I went into him. Well, police come again and they escort me down and the police are fine with me. They had to give me the paperwork because I'm trespassing, but sure. they love me. They're like, at the end of our interaction after that two years, they're like, can you just do us a favor? I'm like, what? They're like, please, we're begging you. Don't come back for just a week. We know you're going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> just a week. I'm like, deal. I'll give you guys a month. And then I came back and I got my third band. So what did I learn from this? I learned that that little security guy is a hater. No matter what I do in life, well, I'm going to have people that love it and people that hate it but at the same time they set rules right and if you're breaking them you know i know that the security card's not right but i feel like maybe there's got to be a better lesson that we've learned other than just the security guard's not nice like maybe we should behave maybe no <laughs> anybody knows me they know I do not behave. And the reason why I learned my lesson is because I used to get bullied a lot. I grew up in a predominantly white area. I was eventually taller than everybody. And even simple thing, hey, big lips, hey, dark skin. I used to get bullied a lot. And I was like, until I got bigger than people. And then I was like, I can beat people up. And I did when I was younger. And then I just learned, you know what? If you make your words the most powerful thing ever, you don't ever have to get physical with that guy. I could have got physical with him. He tried to get physical with me. And the fact that he remembered me after two or three years, these tickets are from 2013. When I go to the Jays home opener and he's there, he will remember me. That's 10 years to me. I learned that even your haters can be your biggest fans because you live up here rent free. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like to, I don't like to hold grudges. I try not to, because like you said, they, it lives up there rent, rent free. You have not barked once all morning. Every time I have a featured show, he barks at everything. <laughs> My dog. Is he trying to get aggressive with me? Does he know what <laughs> I did security? Security, security. <laughs> now, but, side um, note. Yeah, keep, continue. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead. And he distracted me. <laughs> I will say, side note, not only do I know to keep on doing me, I know what I like to do. So knowing that I've been banned for three lifetimes, I still know I want to go back and I will. I just know not to go in the gate that he's working. Yeah. But I also know when I end up doing the seventh inning stretch on the Jumbotron because I go up to the bar and the people are like, hey, do you want to do this? Because you're awesome. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm going to get kicked out. You know, I'm banned, right? They're like, yeah, we know. That's why we're asking. We well, want to see you get kicked I mean, out. It's awesome. I would think that at least from this, I would learn to like lay low, right? <laughs> like, I am 6'3", 250. Right, How but, do I lay low? Uh, there's, there's, I mean, by not putting yourself in situations where you could end up in trouble, you know? I don't know. That's me, though. But then I don't I have don't, fun. I have lots of fun and I lay low. <laughs> I have lots of fun and I lay low. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. My life, as soon as I leave my house, people look at me. So I embrace it and embrace it to the fullest. That's why I like wearing all red. People know they're 
always see me in red. Red's an aggressive color. I stand out, so might as well stand out fully. I also wear flip flops in the winter. Well, that that's just crazy. <laughs> I'm Canadian. I, oh my goodness, that makes my feet. You didn't cold. know I was Canadian? Sorry, sorry guys. Yeah, but Hi, still, my name is Mr. Hill. <laughs> I'm in Ohio. It freezes here too, but there's no way my toes would be so cold, even in the snow. Yes, <sighs> I walk nope. in the snow barefoot, not for long. No, nope. no, nope. but. <laughs> that is crazy. If you guys are just tuning in, welcome to Lessons Learned. I am Silly Lily, and we are talking with Mr. Fox. And <laughs> I'm hearing that he should not be doing things to get himself in trouble, but he likes trouble is what I'm hearing. <laughs> and I don't like being told what to do. Not talking to you, but in general, no. when people are like, sir, can you please be quiet? I'm like this. <laughs> yeah and i'm loud <laughs> respectfully of course oh my goodness yeah no i guess i'm more of a i'm going to avoid conflicts and not put myself in a situations where i have to find myself dodging people to go places <laughs> you know i don't know i don't i don't know i'm feeling like that really that that wasn't the lesson I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting gotcha. you to have a lesson of of goodness, but this is a lesson of how not to act, you guys. <laughs> no, the goodness is yes. me being true to myself. You, you switched it on me, and you're telling people to misbehave, and I can't I can't agree with no. that on a featured show. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling people to be true to yourself. As long as you're not, I don't go out there looking for trouble. I don't go out there picking fights, but I love baseball. I like watching baseball and I like being in the spirit. If you guys want to ban me from your building, guess what? Great. I'm going to figure out how to still get back in because I like watching baseball and I enjoy it. And even when I went there on Father's Day and one of my friends came and me and my dad had two tickets. I had to scalp a third one. So I let them sit together. Well, me solo with a ticket and I'm walking around, same thing, got in trouble again, but that's just me. I just, I can't help it, but I don't ever go looking for trouble. But if trouble finds me, I say, what's up? How you doing? Take it up for a big man. But I will beg to differ a little because by going, you're looking for trouble because you know um, that it's going to happen. No, because I've gone to many games and not got caught. <laughs> <laughs> but eventually, <laughs> you know it's going to well, happen. But I know it because I know when I go up to the bar that's at the 200 level where they do the seventh inning stretch, they're going to see me there because I usually do the seventh inning stretch because they ask me to. And also because I found out kind of coincidentally that I went out one St. Patrick's Day, don't remember it, and I met the manager of the Jays Dance Force team and then – the next day I went to the game, she's like, hey, do you remember me? I'm like, no. And so on and so forth. So she looks for me. Nice. Well, I just I mean, embrace my fun. true self. That's I just, fun. I don't, and you'll ask anybody that comes to my stream. I love the randoms. I have over 22,000 wins. I don't skip people unless I want to. And I bully the bullies. So if I know somebody's mean to innocent people, I take them down. You could ask Emoji J, Emerald Empress. They've known me for a long time. I've had my account since 2017, but I only started streaming just over a year ago. February 26th was my one year. And I don't go picking on people. Every random, I start the same. Hey, good afternoon. Good morning. How are you? And then when they flip the script, I return that energy. I Yeah, I, I can say that I return the energy too. I, I'm definitely one of those. I, I return the energy. You get from me what you give me so if you don't like what you're getting then maybe you should switch it up a little bit you know i'm definitely one of those people um i got i mean so that's my lesson my lesson overall is as long as you're not going out there and being disrespectful or offending anybody be true to yourself no matter what energy comes at you and if you have to sometimes return that energy do it you don't have to be like me and do it to an extreme where that person's like, I can't take this. And I'm like, I'm going to give you more because you started it. But just don't let the negativity affect you because 
you are who you are. And if you start changing who you are for Billy, Sam, Monica, John, eventually who are you and what of you is left if you're changing for everybody else. Be true to yourself because yeah. every day you wake up, you have to live for one person. Yep. 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 I agree. Was there anything else you wanted to add to that before I have you talk a little bit about when you stream and what we find in your stream and all, if you have any events coming up? Uh, no, I don't do auctions. I don't do schedule battles. I just go live every day and sorry. Yeah. There's nothing really coming up other than St. Patrick's day, which is St. Patrick's day is the 17th, which is exactly two weeks from today. And yep. last but not least, we have four more Fridays this month. Today's the first one. We got four more. Yeah, there's five this month, definitely. All right. Well, I really appreciate you coming on the show. Um, if there's anything else you wanted to add to it before I get into my middle segment of self-care and self-love tips and questions. Sure. Uh, my name is Mr. Fox, Canadian. I am aggressive. <laughs> but... I don't come out with aggression. It's just if you bring it out, you'll get it and I will win, period. But other than that, I stream every day for the most part. Usually you find me in the AM and anytime after nine o'clock, you can guarantee one thing. I'm going to be asleep. I'm old. I turned 44 in August and I love my sleep. So Jay likes to ask me to be on shows. It starts at 11 p.m. and I've done it and it kills me, but I did it because... I appreciate Emoji J. And last but not least, guys, not only favorite Silly Lily, favorite the admins. They do work. Jay, Jay doesn't sleep. <laughs> He's always just doing work. So appreciate them. And thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to be on your show. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, make sure you guys hit Mr. Fox with the favorite and go visit him check him out it sounds like if you're looking for a morning laugh <laughs> if he's doing some verses you might get it <laughs> <laughs> not for me <laughs> from i don't people. know i like listening to people yell at the mean people <laughs> don't do it if you come over you'll get trapped trust me it's a trap <laughs> you'll be trapped <laughs> all right mr fox thank you again thank you very much and for here. everybody that was here shout out to goldie c donut man all y'all people and emoji j you're awesome Woo! All right, you guys, if you're just tuning in, welcome to Lessons Learned. I am Silly Lily, and you just missed Mr. Fox. Um, his lesson was um, a little interesting, but long story short, he says, be true to yourself. Um, and I definitely agree with that. So we're going to do some self-care, self-love. I haven't seen Brie. So I don't know if there is anything you guys have that you want me to share with you, um, topic ideas, or if you've heard me share a lesson in the past, uh, let me know, and then we can fill in with that. So some of y'all think, 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 think. But first and foremost, we have self-love, self-care questions. And as every Friday, my first question is, what have you done for yourself today? What have you done for yourself today? Coffee <laughs> says cool, dude. Monster says took a shower. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mel says coffee and my Lily. <laughs> Goldilocks says relaxed. <laughs> Boopty says lots of water. <laughs> Colin says breakfast. Latina Princess says she read when she woke up and she ate healthy. You're doing better than me today. Brought all the yard stuff in so it doesn't fly through. Oh my goodness, the storm. Yeah, it's kick, it's it's coming here in a few a couple hours. Mel's had some delicious chicken. She probably had the smoked chicken, right? You have tornadoes. Oh, my Lanta. Maddie started laundry. See, look at you guys go. Look at you guys go. Hmm. Here's a good question. I haven't asked this one in a while. What do you love about yourself? Like, what do I love about me? 
Hmm. Did you just hear my dog snore? <laughs> Tell me someone heard that. Oh my God, I've never heard him do that. I have never heard him do that. Oh my God. Your personality, your hair, your cat, your smile, your eyes. That sounds like a chat answer, Boop. What did Boop say? Boop says I'm awesome. Um, I think for me, it's my work ethic. I think I'm a hard worker. I think that that's probably one of my best qualities is I can get the job done. And I'm a very honest, loyal person. All right, question number three. Ooh, here's a simple yes or no one. Do you follow the advice you give others? Do you follow the advice you give others? I'm gonna say sometimes, but no. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that I don't. More than I do, unfortunately. And I give some pretty darn good advice, so I really, really should start listening to it a whole lot more. You know what I mean? Look, guys, if you are not a guest for the featured show, I'm going to ask that you please stop requesting the box. Okay? Please stop requesting the box. Ooh, do the people around you make you energized? Do the people around you make you energized? I'm going, I don't people, right? Um, the few people that I let in my life on the regular, yes. But for the most part, I keep people at bay. No, you need to have good people, darling. Good to good people. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a minute. Yes, or vice versa. <laughs> well, I always wake you up. Well, yeah, because you come in my stream, so I yell at you to get up. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, mother trucker. Retreat to the hills, I'm telling you. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Like, I can people to a point. I call it peopling. Like, some days I can people the hell out of my day. I can just go to four different stores and I can talk on the phone and I can stream, you know, and do it all with a smile. And other days I can't even get out of bed. I just can't people, you know, it just kind of, it's, it's crazy. I just, peopling is so hard. There's so many people are just not kind anymore. You know, you go to the grocery store, like, I can't tell you how many times I've been rammed with a shopping cart or little kids are running into you and parents are nowhere to be seen and, and throwing stuff on the ground and, and, and then the mom picks it up, puts it back on the shelf. Like, ma'am, ma'am, your kid ate that and threw it on the ground and you put it back on the shelf, you know? They can't touch me. <laughs> And then they stand there and you're like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And they're like, and they look at you like you done, you know, I don't know. I, like, <sighs> all right, we're going to do one more question. Mm, are you guys ready for a hard one? You guys want a hard one or an easy one? Because I can go both ways with this. T said easy, so you guys get the hard one. What do I crave in life? What do you crave in life? What are you missing? Peace, love, peace. I think for me, it's the, the security. I miss the feeling of being comfortably comfortable like I don't necessarily need financial freedom I just need to be able to pay my bills without working 70 hours a week respect that's that's a big one that a lot of folks don't have anymore 
I think that I miss... Now, if we're going to go with more of like a, a general answer about myself and, and, and my feelings. Oh my God. I miss being a confident kid. I miss the confidence I had in myself as a kid. So much some days, so much. Just think about it. When we were kids, we didn't give two shenanigans. Who thought what or what? We danced freely in the middle of whatever aisle at whatever store singing at the top of our horrible squealing lungs. We didn't care. We didn't care. We had fun. We went out. We played with each other in the yard with toys, not on a phone, staring at a screen in a room all alone. I miss being a fun, free kid. I miss, I miss the ability to not care what others think all the time. So there's my sort of serious answer uh, to that. Of course, everybody wants to be more financially stable, but I miss my inability to not give a poop. Now we'll do some self-care tips. Um, what do you think your favorite self-care, self-love, I don't know, event thing? What is, what, is, what is it you do for yourself? I've been meditating a lot. Um, it recenters me even just 10 minutes, sometimes 10, 15 minutes. I just need to turn the brain off and sit there and I mean, now it's not in peace, but it's, you know, with the meditation voice and it's just listening to that and focusing on that and just the slow breathing, listening to my body, you know, and, and getting in tune with myself. Um, Mel says nothing lately to worry about. Uh-oh, we can talk about that after. You get a pedicure about every, don't touch my feet. Oh, God, I can't, I can't. I can barely give myself a pedicure. But anyways, featured show, off topic, back on track. Listen to music to relax and let out the feels. There you go. Yeah, I will blast if I'm angry. Like, y'all know that I'm having a moon, like a mood, like I'm, I'm upset when y'all come in and I've got some like, popular monster or mushroom head or disturbed or limp biscuit or Papa Roach playing like <laughs> hug trees. Look, I'm not going to lie. I've hugged trees. I do. I, I do. I have no idea what that DJ rock guy is even talking about. Like I was trying to ignore it, but it doesn't even make sense. Come on, love it. Okay, sorry. I love that song. Anyways, okay. Reflect your day. How many of you guys at the end of the night, either you journal or you meditate or you just sit there and, and you kind of just, you know, maybe have 10 minutes of quiet time um, to, to reflect on your day, maybe be thankful more than anything, be thankful for the good, right? Because a lot of us, myself extremely included, we can sit there and we can think of everything we could have done better. We should have done it differently. We can think of the mistakes we made and how we cannot do that again, right? We can literally sit there all the time and dwell on all the things we can improve. But we forget that throughout life, if we're not constantly improving and constantly craving the need to do better, we've become stagnant. And in most of those cases, we're probably not super happy, enthused people. We may be comfortable, right? We may pay the bills pay, we made this. But to me, I learned, I do, I've been at work and I do home remodeling, okay? I've been doing the same stuff for 10 years. And I still go to jobs and learn something new. At least one, even small things. Oh, I didn't know I could do that with that. Or, oh my God, you just did, what? no way like okay like a prime example and i don't have a way to show you but like 
I learn that you can, if I feel like you're trying to nail something in and it's out of reach and you can't get both your hands up there, but you don't want to dig out the ladder for that one stupid nail, that you can put the nail in the hammer backwards. Y'all, 10 years in the field, and I did not know that. I just learned it last month. You know how much easier that makes my jobs in some situations? Yeah, you put the nail backwards in the claw and you hammer it backwards and it hits the nail in where you want it just enough that you turn the hammer around and you hammer it in. I just learned it a month ago. Ten years in the field and not one person. Yes, Bob. Not one person was ever like, hey, you know? And then something I learned three years into working in the field and I've known it for a while okay is that when you use your tape measure the you know the end piece wiggles because i asked i said why is why are they all loose like this because i was newer into this and i just never asked because i was naive and i didn't want to sound stupid but then once i realized no once i realized that it's okay to ask questions because otherwise you're not going to learn. But I should have asked Google because they got a really good laugh out of it. Okay. Um, but I learned that it's so that if you want to measure inside something, it, cl it, it, it shuts it. So that's the 16th of an inch. But if you want to measure the outside of something, it has to pull it to compensate for the 16th of an inch that way. So like, I just, for me, you, you, you cannot become complacent. You have to strive to learn. You have to, push yourself to, to, to just be a little bit better than you were the day before, you know? And, and you know what, we're going to have bad days, but the good thing about that, are you guys ready? If you have like the worst day ever, it's not that hard to make your next day just a little bit better. Right? So at least look at that positive way, right? Like <laughs> tomorrow's going to be better. It can't be worse. You know what I mean though? Like, I mean, all, all jokes set aside. Um, I know, um, featured show. Don't do it, Lily. Um, all I'm going to say is, Ian, please come back and talk to me a little bit later on. Uh, make sure you hit that star so we can have a wonderful conversation. It's going to be lovely and delightful. Um, practice daily gratitude. Okay. I feel that a lot of us, again, this kind of, this kind of goes into that reflecting your day with journaling is, is daily gratitude being thankful. We're not thankful for enough things in our life. So many of us can focus so deeply on the wrong that it it's, we don't realize all of the good. Like, okay, for any, again, I'm going to just keep using work instead of personal, uh, super soft emotional things, right? Um, at work, <laughs> these comments today, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I, I normally am really good at ignoring them, but they are like super not nice today. And I'm not sure what's in the air, but the horoscope did say that the evils were coming. So I need to refocus. Whew, daily gratitude. You need to be thankful. You need to. <laughs> that's not where I was. See, I am a oh, good listener. <sighs> okay, so this is one of those where I need like to. Um, and bring myself back, right? Bring myself back. Oh, I'm not mad. It's just, listen, so again, featured show off topic just for a quick second, okay? I am, I am, I am doing my best not to play with my food, okay? I am, I am distracted because what I want to say, I cannot say. So I'm simply trying not to play with my food on a featured show. And if you know me, that is not an easy task <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to my. I don't close the book and everything. <laughs> then yeah, make sure you guys during the featured show. Let's definitely not use the the curse words if possible, please. All right, and self care. Here we go. I think this might lead into. Um, a little bit more than just a, a quick tip. Are you guys ready for this one? Ooh. The <laughs> ultimate form of self-care is practicing. 
This is going to be hard. Practicing self-love talk. Being kind to yourself. Not putting yourself down. Reminding yourself, like Boop has reminded me all over my house now, is in case I forgot, and it says on it, in case you forgot, you're amazing. And I have that mug. It sits on my counter. I'm afraid to use it because I don't want to lose it. So it just sits on my counter. And every day I look at it. And every day I go, you know what? I am awesome. So we have that. But I, I think for years and years and years, um, I neglected my self-love. I felt for a long time, there is nobody out there. Go lay down. Let me go lock him in the kitchen. Otherwise, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing this for the next 15 minutes. Go on, in the kitchen, please. Sorry, guys. So, 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 so sorry. Well, you know, you can't be barking right next to me during my shows, but you literally didn't bark all morning, and now all of a sudden. Okay, so, sorry. So, for years and years and years, I, dis I denied myself love. I denied myself the ability to properly care for myself because I felt like it wasn't worth it. Oh, you're such a little snot. I felt that I didn't maybe deserve it because at some point in my life, I had somebody tell me that maybe I wasn't worth it or I didn't deserve it. So I want to remind all of you that your biggest fan and your biggest enemy is going to always be yourself. But I feel like all of us have enough enemies that we really, really, really need to be our own biggest fan. We need to put ourselves first. We deserve that. Even, as, even if you're a parent, you know what I mean? Every parent deserves at some point to, to give themselves something, you know, whether it's just something as simple as a, a bubble bath and relaxing. Um, when the kids are in bed, you curl up in your most comfortable little nook and you, can somebody please forking work at that? And you, you know, you crawl in your comfortable little nook and you read a book um, and just allow yourself time for you. And when you look in the mirror, don't say bad things, only be positive. Um, I've said this probably a hundred times before. Um, Mel Robbins is a, she, she does a lot of the, um, the positive speeches and stuff like that. And she's got a lot of podcasts and whatnot. And the one thing that she, she started and I do it is I wake up in the morning and when I look at myself in the mirror, I give myself a high five and here's why. Because I am training my brain to look at myself and think positive. Because when you high five somebody, it's why. It's not because something bad. It's not because of something negative. It's not because of something that upset you. When you high five somebody, it's positive thoughts. Now, yeah, it was really awkward to high five myself the first handful of times. But it, after a while, I'm like, today's going to be awesome. I am going to kick butt at work today. And I don't know, I'll make a new friend. Whatever positive things that I feel I need to tell myself, it makes it a lot easier when you high five because you can't think negatively when you're high fiving yourself. Um, let's see, where are we at on time? 10.52. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best here. We had a, a guest that was unable to make it. So we are doing our best to, to fill the time um, to make that happen. Um, Something else that kind of falls into category of what I was saying before is sitting in, sitting in the stillness, in the silence. Um, because again, when you're, when you're in the quiet, you allow yourself the time with yourself that you need. Um, just maybe to, like I said, refocus yourself, um, maybe to focus on how you can make some changes that you want to make to make your life more positive. Maybe you need some quiet time to, uh, do a craft that you enjoy doing. It makes you happy, right? 
But with a few minutes left, I am going to ask you guys to think of your favorite featured show, and I want you guys to blast them in the comments. I personally haven't been able to get to every single show that's featured. Some of them are because the times are awkward. I need a tissue. And it makes it hard to get to them. But we need to... Oh, sorry. But we need to... Uh, I need to get to some more because I know I, I enjoy the featured shows. I really like the game shows. Um, I think because I don't have to be all emotional and serious. <laughs> Boop says this one. Uh, no, randoms are not allowed during a uh, featured show. Self-care is so important. Good listener. So, so, so important. Um, so I know at noon we have boss branding um tomorrow is saturday i know that smurfy has tricks of the trade at four sunday we have good listener at 6 p.m with what's today again yep <laughs> are you smarter than who so eddie is he eddie started that one are you smarter than a top badge that's eddie right triples is saturday at 7 p.m yeah, I seen him. Uh, he's sharing something with someone. Maybe it was you. He was in a verse. I don't know. He was in a verse with somebody. <sighs> I don't know. And I seen that he's doing that show. Good listener. Dude, it's really, really awkward at first because you're like, why am I high fiving yourself like myself? And but I'll tell you when your hand is high five, you cannot in that at least in that moment. You're at least going to laugh at yourself versus saying something bad. Charm Charlie is at four o'clock today. Yes, sniper. Correct, correct. Bring the peanuts. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Where's Bella? When is Scan? Scantron's got a new time. Scantron's got his dealing with Scan. I think it's at nine on Wednesdays now. think but yeah i don't know you guys it, there's there's thursdays at nine okay thursdays at nine um a young lady named brie i'm not a hundred percent sure what happened but we were able to uh to fill it with some self-care self-love things you know which sometimes we need that and there's probably someone out there somewhere right yeah exactly well uh jay said that he had spoke to her i believe um but i didn't ask questions i just can you know you know how we gotta roll roll with the punches figure it out after <laughs> hope you did okay <laughs> like i was trying to think of a topic and i couldn't get one so i just kept going with the the, the questions and the answers right like uh but guys, if you're just tuning in, welcome to Lessons Learned. My name is Silly Lily, and we meet here every Friday morning at 10 a.m. Um, today we had Mr. Fox on, and he more or less explained to us that it is so important that we stay true to ourselves, right? Want to teach you another lesson? Oh, no. What is that? When you ask me questions like that, it makes me really nervous. Now I lost the lid of my water. Oh, I'm a mess today. This hot mess express over here. Um, anyways, welcome to Lessons Learned. I'm Silly Lily, and we are about to wrap things up here in a few minutes. If you missed today's lesson, you missed about being true to yourself. And then you missed me ramble on and on about self-care, self-love, and how it's important that we be our biggest number one fan because we have enough enemies in life, right? Water bottle, no cap. I, I, it's here. I just opened it and it literally just disappeared. <laughs> language, 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 language. Just give me three more minutes of no more curse words. We can go back to normal, okay? <laughs> Just a few more minutes, guys. Well, we're almost done. We are almost done. Um, so I don't know if you guys have any auctions or battles coming up, but if you yourself are in an auction or a battle, spam that down there real fast. Let me know. Tonight at 610, I am in Warriors LGBTQ auction, okay? Um, 
<laughs> auctions make me nervous so it is what it is but i really hope you guys can be there um i'm gonna do my best i'll be at work so i will definitely be on board of the hot mess express right as she is which is why even though i'm gonna be at work and i'm gonna be not in this any way of forms where i should be doing um auctions i'm not gonna cancel i'm gonna be there um <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Woo! No pictures and no screen recordings today, please. <laughs> Dorothy and Toto, and they're worried about fruity pebbles. Oh God, Titsy! I hope the tornadoes doesn't uh, get doesn't hit too hard. Um, everybody that was here, thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the favorites. I appreciate every single one. Um, even more so than the gifts and the favorites. I really, really appreciate your time. Well, thanks, T. Um, <laughs> and then on March 12th, I am hosting a sleep awareness pajama auction. And let me tell you, guys, I am so excited to see all these PJs. Like, I can't see what everyone's going to come up with. It's the refaves for me. Uh, March 12th is the auction that I'm hosting for the pajama party or the pajama auction, and tonight is my auction at 6.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the, with Warrior. I will not be auctioning myself off at mine this time. I do have a couple spots left. If any of you guys have some fancy pajamas that you'd like to be auctioned off in, please send me a message on IG. Um, as long as the outfit is meet me appropriate, which is Snuggie is, it counts. Just make sure you have on pants. Or please don't bend over. And birthday suits are not PJs. Or they'd be called pajamas, not birthday suits. Okay. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. But you guys, where did my, where did it go? Oh, I think it just fell on the floor. Josh, why are you laying under my chair? Oh, there. Nope, not that one. Hold on. Oh, there's my lid. I found it. Here it is. Okay, before I go, I will ask you, I will read the quote, ask you the questions, but we will not answer this until next Friday morning at 10 a.m. It wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. How have you prepared yourself for an unlikely situation? Do not answer it now. Screenshot it. Whatever you need to do. I love your face too, Ditsy. Okay. How have you prepared yourself for an... I have not prepared myself for almost any situation. I at once upon a time was prepared for many. But now I'm... Y'all are lucky I prepared dinner, okay? At this point, we're lucky that I prepared dinner. No, we're still featured. Still featured. Um, till 11.15, March. March is when the one-hour time slot kicks in. So come March, we can stay on or do whatever. Oh, it is the beginning of March. I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to get in trouble. It was good to see you too. Stay out of trouble. Um, anybody here tonight, if you can make it again, 6, 10 p.m. is the auction that I am in with Warrior. And after I get home from work, we will be doing Dirty Minds. All right. It's off already? Oh. It's off, it's done, it's gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> it's so hard. Y'all, those guys ask a man. Blah, blah, blah. Like, mm, I probably know more than you do. You guys, I couldn't. Y'all know that during my featured shows, I am really good at staying on track. 
and ignoring that stuff. But when these dudes come in here and try to talk shop to me like I'm some kind of stupid ditzy person in the shop, no offense, ditzy, I love your face, but ooh, that ruffles me in a funny, funky kind of freaking way. Guys, <laughs> no, it's not. They said it's off. They checked already. It's not featured. There's no more featured thing there. <laughs> oh, uh, Little Lotus, the show's over with. But I told people to be at Boss, Boss Branding at noon. But I, I told you to be here. See, I'm not used to this. Thank you, Trip. O L. I did tell people to go. I did tell people to go to Boss Braining at noon, though, Lotus. I did do that. I swear to goodness, you're going to get your collar back on. There's literally nothing going on in this apartment for you to be sitting under my chair grumbling and growling like a maniac. Can y'all hear him? <laughs> Shh. Enough. He's like <laughs> under my chair. Like, stop. You're vibrating my ass. He does. He sits and he sits on my chair. So when he's sitting on there going, <laughs> he's vibrating my bum. Hi. You know, you could message me. We could have done BDE part three. <laughs> Look, if you, I love your face to death, but you, you, you are much better joking around than being serious. You, you, wow. <laughs> you. We're not BDE is not a thing anymore. We're not allowed to talk it is. about it. No, it is a thing. No, it is one hundred percent a thing. You guys just keep, you guys just keep trying to tape it to big dick energy, but it's a whole movement, right? It is. It absolutely is. It's the same thing that you're saying. Self love and all that shit. That's what BDE is. The fuck. It's the same fucking thing. But it's, it's, it is, but it isn't. Waiting for your bridesmaid's invitation? I thought she was going to be your bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, now what are you?